All right, comic companies flirting with controversy. That's the topic of today's video. We are back. John Della Rose here, DellaRose.com. That's D-E-L-A-R-R-O-Z.com. And even though this has this weird little box up right now, there we go. Uh, my campaign closed out last night at 25233 for the duration of the main campaign prior to this in-demand. We've still got Deus Volt up for a little bit and are uh, doing well with it already. Uh, so this is just going to stay up until uh, we go to print. We obviously have a couple stretch goals that we need to uh, actually make and get into the book before we can do that. I don't know how long that's going to take. Hopefully just a couple of weeks here before we send everything off to our illustrious printer and get Deus Volt ready to ship to you. Thank you, everybody who supported this. It's been awesome. Uh, we are growing. Everything's double what it was uh, this time last year. I'm super enthusiastic, super thrilled, and you guys are the reason that this happened. So thank you again. All right, here's the news story of the day. Now it can be told. Uh, this is uh, from Sarah Hoyt's website here. And uh, there's a lot of text here, uh, which is very uh, interesting. I'll get to this in a second. But if you uh, get down to the heart of it, it turns out that Sarah Hoyt has been contracted to write Barbarella, for Dynamite Entertainment. Now, Dynamite uh, is no stranger to controversy in recent years. Uh, they started out uh, really by delving into this by making a book of Atari's Centipede in which the letterer put this whole rambling diatribe about how I'm a terrible person and uh, you know, I, they said something like, I can't get it up without Sifwa or something like that. And, uh, and they got into a lot of trouble for doing that. Uh, now, the company did apologize to me for having that in there. Uh, I have no reason to think that editorial condoned that. Uh, they seemed like they missed it, and they said it would be out of subsequent printings of the book. Uh, but it was there, uh, and it did get there, and that, that put them on the map. Next, they had a sort of loose association with Comicsgate for a while, where it looked like they were actually going to be uh, working with Comicsgate. They were making variant covers with Comicsgate artists, uh, which was was a healthy thing. And I, I thought that they were going to start distributing Comicsgate comic books. Uh, very interesting stuff until an SJW mob came after them. And then, uh, of course, they backed down real quick because this is what these evil companies do. Now, apparently they want to flirt with it again because Sarah Hoyt uh, probably has as much or uh, more controversy to her brand than anybody in Comicsgate has. Uh, she was one of the uh, original people in the group called the Sad Puppies. So if you remember the history here, she uh, was, was part of this awards group trying to game the Hugo Awards. Basically, the whole point of it was to try to get Larry Correa and his friends at Bain uh, awards when they were not getting awards before. They couched it as a culture war thing uh, and uh, attempted to do things that way. When it was clear that the SJWs were going to have a foothold, they backed down uh, very, very weakly uh, and, then, uh, and then never pursued it again and just took their ball and went home. Uh, Sarah was one of those. She got uh, put on the map pretty good from that whole incident. Uh, people were checking out her books at the time. It was getting really big. And then she kind of faded off the scene a little bit, uh, just you know, just with a, a little bit of low output uh, from what her books were doing. But apparently, uh, it was enough to get the interest of Dynamite for Barbarella. Now, I'm not a huge Barbarella fan or anything like that. Uh, from what I understand, it is uh, on the degenerate side of things, which makes sense. Uh, you know, Sarah is a one of those uh, capital L libertarians, and uh, capital L libertarians love to put. Uh, degeneracy into their works. I don't know why, but that is the case. So maybe she is a good fit for this. We're going to see. Uh, Dynamite is proud to welcome writer Sarah Hoyt with her big debut in comics with the new series starting in July. Longtime author has written 34 novels, uh, et cetera, et cetera. Fan favorite Dark Ship Thieves. Yeah, that's the big one. Uh, and uh, there you go. So uh, she wrote this. I guess this is her first comic script. Uh, definitely, I'm going to pick this up and review it when it comes out. This is something that uh, catches my interest. Uh, you know, uh, we'll see how it goes, and we'll see if Sarah can actually write a decent comic book. Uh, this is a pretty interesting way to announce it uh, with, a, with a big wall of text, but that's <laughs> is what it is. What do you guys think about this? Uh, is Dynamite turning some new corner? Are they going to start respecting people who uh, are on this side of the fence? Let's see what happens here. Let's see how this goes. Uh, maybe they're taking interest in uh, Deus Volt. I mean, they should. It's a beautiful book, and uh, 
they should uh, they should put it into comic book stores, I think. <laughs> Let me know your thoughts. Hit that like and subscribe button. We'll be back soon.